LD WMMAC and salute to the WMMA universe. You're live, live, live on the Coach Show, the Coach Show live. You raggedy mouth rascals, smash the like button. Smash the like button right now. Man, look. <laughs> you know, I talked about this fight earlier, but, you know, I, get, I didn't give it just due. You know, I was riding around in my car and I was just talking about it, but man, 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 man. Hot dog. You know, I thought this fight. I legit thought this fight was going to be Felicia Spencer's. And you know what? I thought Felicia was going to go in here and dominate this fight. Oh, hell, was I wrong. Man, I was wrong. Look, man, this fight was good. This fight was good. This was a very, very, very good fight. But, uh, you know, uh, it was a fight between two grapplers with limited stand-up. You know, and I start, and Michael Bisping started talking about, oh, and look at the boxing of Norman DeMont. And I'm like, what? What, Michael, Michael Bisping, you square, flat top ass, head looking ass dude? You, uh, you, uh, boxing? Boxing? Norman Dumont had great boxing? I, where the hell did we see that at? <sighs> I tell you, boy, it is what it is, man. But I tell you something right now. I'm going to tell you guys something, man. The thing of it is, guys, is that, you know, the whole 145 pound division has been on a skeleton frame, it's been in the balance. It's been in the balance, and you know what? There's so much uncertainty that people don't really know just what the hell is going to happen. People don't, people don't know what's going to happen. The, the fighters in that division, they don't know what's about to happen to the division. They don't have a clue. And so, you know, uh, you know, Norman Dumont's been going back and forth, you know, between divisions. She's been going, you know, between 135 and 145. And to be honest, you know, you know, look, look, man. The damn water buffalo is too big. You can't make 135. And I've told y'all this. I told Norma this. I told y'all this. She not making no 135, man. It's not going to happen. Norma Dumont is, is she, she's a featherweight, and she, she's good at featherweight. You know, it is funny, man. Norma Dumont got knocked out by Megan Anderson. She got knocked out by Megan Anderson. But Norma Dumont is a smart girl. She was like, look, man, this 145-pound division ain't going to be here. I need to get out. I need to make some bread. I need to make a bag. You know, the girl I've been trying to weight cut, she's never going to be a 135er, y'all. Never going to happen. But Felicia Spencer fought, I mean, just just dumb. Low octagon IQ. Okay? Low octagon IQ. Low octagon IQ looking ass girl. Like, you know, I'm sitting here wondering, what possessed Felicia Spencer, guys? What made her actually go... And try to stand up. What, what what made her try to stand with Norman Dumont for three rounds? Guys, it don't make sense. You know, and I'm sitting here saying, uh, Felicia, you're a grappler. You're a grappler. Just go ahead and make it do what it do. But no, no, no. You tried to fight and throw some Taekwondo kicks. The kicks were effective. But I'm sitting here looking at it. Man, Felicia got to be dumber than a damn box of bricks. I'm like, I, I, I don't get it. In round three, Felicia Spencer started to come to life. She started grinding. Felicia Spencer is a close quarters fighter. You know, why she's fighting at a range, guys, I can't understand. Felicia Spencer really thrives when she can get her hands on you. But you know, Norma Dumont, I got to admit, Norma Dumont did a good job of, you know, stopping Felicia from getting close sometimes. Like Norma would throw some some really good knees when uh, Felicia Spencer got close. And it's just like Felicia was deterred by them knees and them body shots. Norma was tearing that body up, man. And, you know, you you saw them damn hands. I like Norma hit Felicia one time. And, man, you can see Felicia's stomach just vibrating back and forth. Hey, man, if you really want to back Felicia Spencer up, I, hey, the secret is you, y'all hit, hit Felicia in her body. Felicia a little pudgy around that body, man. She's a little pudgy. And, you know, Felicia, she's never going to be a little girl. But, man, Felicia Spencer really, really, man, I think Felicia can be a little bit more tighter. She can be fitter, man. You know, now, don't get me wrong now. You know, Coach, I love thickums. The coach loves a thickum. Man, Felicia's a thickum. You know, that's just how that is. That's just how that is. But Felicia, man, I'm telling you, if she can get her body together, man, get her, her body, her midset, man, look, Felicia Spencer might have a damn chance, man, to really do some things. But, guys, I think the 145-pound division, I think this, I think it's over. I think this 145, I think it's done. And I hate to say it, but the only one that can save the featherweight division is Kayla Hype Job Harrison. Because you know if they bring Hype Job Harrison in here, 
They're going to leave Norman Dumont. They're going to leave Spencer. They're going to need some people for Hype Job to beat up on. That's what they're going to do. Hype Job going to come in here, and they're going to put a Hype Job in here and let Hype Job beat up on some of these people. That's just what's going to happen. They'll put Hype Job in there with Zara Fern or Santos, let Hype Job whoop Zara Fern's ass, and then they'll say the Hype Job is the best thing under God's hot sun. Woo, buddy, buddy, buddy. I tell y'all. I tell y'all. My God. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. You know, Felicia, she lost this fight, man, because she didn't do what she was supposed to be doing, man. She tried to fight a different fight. And, you know, Norma Dumont, ah, she landed the more effective strikes. Norma Dumont was a little bit more active. She was a little bit more active, you know. But I'm going to tell you, man, no, Norma Dumont is not this great fighter. She's just not, okay. And she step up in there again. You know, she'll fight somebody else. You, you know, and, and it's crazy, man. Felicia Spencer was uh, supposed to fight Danielle Wood, but something happened. I don't know what happened in that fight. I don't know what happened, but, man, whoo, buddy, 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 buddy. What are they going to do with this 145-pound division, y'all? It's dead. It's toast. It's garbage. It's gone. Guys, this is no more. And, guys, we got to deal with the midgets. We got to deal with the midgets. The big girls in the UFC don't get no love. Why? Why? Why can't the big girl? why can't the thickums get love in the UFC? Why? Man, we need 145. We need 55. We need 70. We need all the big girls to get a little bit of loving in the UFC, and they ain't getting it. But salute to Norma Dumont. Tough, hard-fought victory, but she won. What's next for Norma Dumont? I don't know because there are no more featherweights for her to fight. I'm done.